Before we came to Yeshiva, we were a little bit different, and we came here, we grew a little bit, right? So how, how do we sort of show that to our families that we're changed a little bit? Uh, please, again, when you came, you were different. Now right, we now, now we went so through what Yeshiva. what the families? You think they, they sent you here, they, they wanted you to grow up they and to change, no? Maybe not so much. They, want, they don't want you to they say, for me, I said, I want to go. They said, okay, go. They didn't say, let's, they didn't want me to go. So now, I'll, let's say I want to come back for Shana Bed. Oh, maybe not. So how do I say, how do I, how do I, what is the alternative? What, what is the want you to do? Uh, college. Oh. So how do I say, I want to be different, I want to be, uh, to say, Hashem, to have this first question, <laughs> such a thing that people want to go into Kedusha, and the very wants to go out to college. If these are the kind of questions, I don't have anything to add. I just want to borrow with each one of you. <laughs> but uh, I understood uh, a little bit uh, differently that there is a fight also the other way around. That, uh, this oil of husband pulls very strongly. And uh, I don't think there was... Uh, I, I, in a minute I will, uh, I, I will relate to your question. I don't think there was such an epoch in the whole history of humanity that the powers of Yitzhak were so strong and so available. Everybody, no question about it. You know, the boy says, the Lord wants to, be, to, to surrender to Yitzhak, he should go away, put some of the clothes, but he wants to come back, you don't have to go away, you don't have to come back, it's there, it's here, in the pockets of each, other, each one of us, with the iPhones, you are, you, you, are, you are exposed to, not you, children of 10, 10 years old, 12 years old, are exposed to the most different, the terrible things that I would never have believed. 40 years ago, I was Hiloini, I was there, I was secular. If somebody would tell me that 40 years later, <coughs> that it can be like this, that, that, that boys of 10 years and girls of 10 years old see such films, and, and do such things, violence, drugs, about every diversity. I would say, you are dreaming. Uh, you, are, you, are, you are dreaming. It will never happen. And it's much worse than the worst dream in the world. Unbelievable. So I will answer, uh, maybe I, I will take your question as a, as a very short introduction to, to uh, and a boy here in the class said that what he wants me to do is to tell the story of my life. So I asked him, all the details will take more than 80 years. He said, no, without the details, all the summary. So I combine all the things <coughs> together. Friends, to be a Jew is the, 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 the toughest task in the world. Nothing is more difficult than to be a Jew. Always, in our time, even more. You are fighting against nature. You are fighting against yourselves. You are fighting for the inner part in our soul, which is the Shekhin Agdoisho, we say it in Parshas Trume, so last week, Shekhanti Betocham, my dwelling is plural, Betocham. So the Rishonim, are they make a deal. Not betocho, it would say, it would mean that the Kodbohu is dwelling in the middle of Am Yisrael. No, in each one of us. 
Chaim Volozhin says in Nefesh Chaim that if a Jew bezodoy says <coughs> willingly puts into his mind, into his soul a, a, a thought of uh, zima, of uh, adultery, it's worse, it is worse than what Titus did in Kodesh HaKadoshim. He took a woman and he did what he did in the Kodesh HaKadoshim. So if a person does it bezodoy, I'm not talking about if it penetrates into our minds and, and, and we didn't do it. I mean, it, 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 it happens. It happens every day. Of course, the, the, the prostitution of the eyes and the heart exists. The Torah only orders us not to lo tatu. don't go cut it, don't go out it. But the znus is there. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about somebody who sits and does it willingly and he puts a bad thought into his soul. Worse, what Titus doing in Kodesh This is Veshachanti Betoham. We, this is being a Jew. This is the difference between us and the whole world. Every girl can do it. Every girl is like a Tinoch Shenoira. It's a newborn baby. Why? Why is a newborn baby? Because he's a new person. He is with this Kedusha in the Shechine, goes into his heart, into his soul. And it is a different... Mamlechet Koyanim Begoi Kodosh. Says the Kodesh Bohu. Kedoshim to you, ki kadosh ani. An unbelievable possible. You should be saintly because I am saintly. The Kodesh Bohu compares his Kedusha to, to our Kedusha. Yes. Not only that. David Amelich says, Vani nasachti malki al tzion har kochi. I am pulling the, the, the chesed of the Kodesh Bohu on Har Tzion Har Kochi, my Kodesh HaKodoshim, not Har Tzion Birushalayim, on my soul, Al Tzion Har Kochi, on the dwelling of the Shechina in my heart, Nasachti, Vanochi, Malki Al Tzion, Nasachti Malki Al Tzion Har Kochi, Asapra El Chok, I am talking his Torah, but it is said in words that the Gemara in Bruchah says that a clean way to say that the woman with, his, with her husband is I am with the Kodesh Bohu in a chasene. I give myself to the Kodesh Bohu like a, a, a woman gives herself to her husband. Hashem Amar Eli, Beni Ata, my son, Ani Hayom Yeliditicha, you are being born in you today. Domino Mech is a grown up person. Ani Hayom Yeliditicha, you are combining with the Kodesh Bohu. You are, you are coming close to him. You talk to him. You want to be with him, it's a chasene. You are being born and you are being born. You can be born every minute, every day, every hour. I can tell you about Shubeh that this is what Osher happiness is all about. We had a big house in Jaffa, which is near Tel Aviv, on a hill <coughs> overlooking the old Mediterranean, three floors, all the money, the whole oil of Hazel was, there's no, no limit. I didn't know what love is. I didn't understand what it means to love and to be loved. The stuff that happens, it's Hollywood. You fall in love, you don't fall in love. You are, you are building your love to love your wife. And, so the, and then your wife loves you. If you will love her, she'll love you. But you know what it means? It means it cannot be, it cannot be that I'm looking at other women, but I love you. Tata <laughs> Sasa, it cannot be. It's like you're putting a knife into a heart. So it means you have to give up. I do not want to see. But it's so tempting. It's so uh, 
tempting I mean it's so uh, beautiful and it's nice I, 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 I'll be faithful to you you know the result the result of Chasmus Shorim of such a thing that the babies which are born are not whole the, the wholesomeness fails Al ken yazov ishtavivit imo bedavak veishto dveikus and they become one flesh. Where do they become one flesh? Says Rashi, in the baby which is born. And this baby is one, and it depends on the oneness of your wife towards you, and your oneness towards your wife. One. Basar Echad. It cannot go at this. And yeah, I come home, I love you, darling. This. What did you do at Saud? I would like to see the husband, which is normal, which will see his wife standing there in the, in the doorway, you know, and talking to the neighbor and laughing together. They laugh together. They have a good time together. It's a knife in the heart. He comes and says, what did you do with him? Nothing, you know. We just want you with nothing. What do you have to do with him? You are mine. It's the only, and everybody in the world understands this. It's a something so basic in the Tzalem Elohim. Every man in the world will feel it. It can be a Muslim, Christian, a Buddhist. He will feel it. It's a basic thing. It's the only love in the world which brings down life. A father can have ten children, he can love each one of them. No problem. Mother, your sisters, brothers, friends, rabbi, Talmudim, everything. everything. This love is unique. It is. It it prevents every other connection. Uh, the Yehudi. How do you say Yehudi? It is. Oh, it, it it is one, and it cannot be participating with any other love of the same kind. Singular. <coughs> Sorry. Singular. Unique. Singular. Unique. Exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive. 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 This is it. You cannot have this same operation with any other, even the smallest one. And it, the result will be in the children. They are not one. Bnei Teisha Midis, says the Gemore. He sings about somebody else, she sings about somebody else, he's a little bit drunk, he can eat, there was a call between them. Whatever, whatever divides this Achdus, this boso echod, the result is the truth. The same is the Kodesh Bohu. When the Kodesh Bohu gave us the Torah, it was a chasene. And this chasene is exclusive. The Kodesh Bohu does not dwell his dwelling on any other nation in the world. Only Jews. We pay for it dearly. Chaverim. But the next uh, Yetzirah will attack. Remember your grandmothers and your grandfathers. They gave their lives for this truth. They had an alternative. You know, bow to two sticks like this, which are across. Just bow to it. And you live, we'll give you money, you live with your children. And if you won't bow, we'll torture you in the inquisitions. I uh, will burn yourself, your uh, life, and you treat it in front of your eyes before that. And your grandmothers and your grandfathers, our grandfather, your mother, chose to die and to be tortured and not to leave this truth. Please, let us remember this. Uh, yes, I mean, so what can I do? What can you do? Remember your grandfather. Remember, it's a nation which exists. 3,400 years, 3,400 years, one nation in the whole world, don't Chinese, there are a hundred languages in China, each one doesn't teach each other, there's no culture, no science, what is the, what is the heritage they gave to the world? Well, the whole Christianity is built on our terror, Muslims built on our terror. The more all the monotheistic religions are built on our Torah. They all admit that this is the truth. And they cannot deny this truth. They only say that at a certain point, 
the Kodesh Baruch left you and he chose us. Yes, the Torah, of course, is true. But then you, uh, such stupidity, Kodesh Baruch changes his mind. So this is a chasene. And this chasene is being born in you every day. And this is what happiness is all about. This is what is worthwhile to live. I know what money is, I know what honor was. Right. Who was the 11th president of the United States? Nobody knows. <coughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> what is the what? Where? They go up, they go down. Caesars, they, they go, go the whole world. Where are they? Who remembers them? What do, what, what, what do they... My Meshanim, what, 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 is they, what is their importance? <coughs> but Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai is alive now because we all not only learn his Torah, we live his Torah. Our lives come from him. And he is alive when we live his Torah. One nation, 3,400 years. One tree with all the branches, with all the fruit. It's such a privilege. And this privilege cost very dearly to our ancestors. Ami Sol pays for dearly. This is the story of my life. When I, I was there, I was in much, much, much lower <laughs> point where, wherever you are. You all, our, your father, your parents, they are Masoti, they make Kiddush, they, they, they fasten with Kippur. The, 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 you are, you are, I didn't know anything at all. I was uh, in a youth, youth organization which called Shoyim Aratzai, socialist, communist. They taught us this religion, every religion, any religion, is opium to the masses. We despised, <coughs> what do you mean? Torah, Bible, what is it? <coughs> something primitive from the Middle Ages. Who, who cares about it? I didn't know anything until the age of 40, 4 -0. And then the Kodesh Bohu sent us right each other, Zilberman, and he proved to me that he went through the world. He said, oh, send us. we were in a party, we went in, never mind how, and then he said, I can prove, we were all Chiloinim, secular, and he was the only Haredi, Tamit Chochem, Ima Taben Sharaf Katsina, Katsina, Ya Barova. A tzaddik amiti, very, very <laughs> modest. No, not uh, er the Er Our brothers Tashkenaz, we say Er Lechayid. <laughs> er Lechayid, he is he's true. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say to me? What did he say? Zayab Hashem Abba Chal Ari Yitzchak? No, no, no. Okay, Ari Yitzchak Bin Otan, Ari Yitzchak Bin Otan, Ari Yitzchak Bin I will tell you what he said. My I am not sure that you get the point. But I tell you the knockout. I learned, I learned in university. I learned philosophy. I asked the rabbi, because I heard many, many years ago. Okay, the rabbi doesn't want to say exactly what his past, what he did, but it was at a certain party, and this Rav Zilberman was a very big tzaddik, Zachar Tzaddik Libacha, and he said something that changed his life, and he left everything, right? And I'm always waiting all these years to find out, what did he say? That's what I just asked him. Wait I didn't me. leave everything right away. I, I did it very much. I, I will tell you the two steps. He said, I can prove to you there's a bunch of the world. So what do you mean prove? For me, religion and proof were two, two contradictions. I mean, it, it, it one contradiction. You believe in whatever you need. You know, you have your trip. You know, oh, you believe one is Buddhist, one is yeah. You create your own beliefs. And he said, no, I can prove it to you. And I asked him, you understand the word proof? Chutzpah, yes. He learns Gemara for 40 years. I asked him, you understand what proof means? He said, I don't <coughs> understand the word proof. And uh, I said, so prove it to me. So I said, you have to come to me. It's not like in the party. The miracle was that the next day I went to him. I have a friend with a car going back to Tel Aviv. From the, 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 the receiver was in the party was in Jerusalem. And then, and I, went, and I and it bug, and it, it, what do you mean proof? This was a miracle. This was a miracle. Coach Boko, I could forget about it after two seconds. I didn't forget about it. I went to him. 
you have many proofs. You want to have all the proofs of the world, you know, you, there are today discs, you can hear seminars, arachim, many, many, abonim bring, but you cannot deny them, you cannot deny it. It's very proof. But I tell you the knockout for me. I hope you understand it. <laughs> he said, he asked me, how do, how do religions begin? How do religions begin? From, according to my idea, religion is not something that the Kodesh Bokhu gave us the Torah. There was a great person who invented this legend, and he said there is a point to the world, and if you do this thing, you'll get prize, you'll get Ghanaian, you won't do this thing, you'll get Gehenim, you know, opium to the masses. He gave this legend, and everybody was very primitive, of course, yes. Tanoim, Amoroim, Nevi'im, prophets, they were primitive, and they accepted this legend, and, uh, and, and, and this is how religion begins. So it's very nice. He knew. He came from Germany. He was from East Europe. He knew the whole European culture. I couldn't surprise him with no name, no philosopher, no painter, no author. He knew them all. Yes, this was also a thing. I said, for me, these Schwarzers, something primitive, you know. What do they know? They did I know the whole culture. He knew it. He knew. So this attracted me. I said, how come such a Schwarzer eat from Jerusalem? knows Picasso and Gauguin and Van Gogh and the painters and composers and Bach and Beto Mozart, how he knows how he knows all this culture. And still he puts here a box and here a box every morning, what does he do? <coughs> how, how, how does it go together? So he said, ask me this question, how do religion begin? I said, you wake up a great reformer, and the reformer says, say, don't, don't steal, don't murder, don't take the wife of your, of your friend, you know, to, to make a, an order in, in the society, and he uh, and he says it depends on the, on the, on the Almighty. If you do his thing, you'll get the prize. If not, you'll get the other way. So it's very logical, he said. So please tell me, what moral value is there? What social value is there? Was inventing. Said inventing. What? Why? Why? Thought it was invention. Yes, for old mitzvahs. <coughs> Shabbos. Okay, you have to rest one day. Uh, no, no, you have. Uh, oh, no, no, logical mitzvahs. What is the logic? Moral logic, social logic, in killing a person who writes a letter to his grandson, which he loves very much, and he writes one letter on a the seventh day, which is called Shabbos, and two people from Mea Shorim come to him with big birds, and they're not so clean, and not so sympathetic. He says, hello, hello, hi, hey, you know it's high today, Shabbos? He says, yeah, yeah, I know, yes, yeah, there's children there. And you, you wrote my letter, you write another letter, you will be stoned. He writes another letter, and you take him out, and you stone him. <coughs> what did he do? <coughs> what did this man do? He stole, he murdered. How can a people accept such a law if it would be a human invention? They will stone the inventor. What are, what are you talking about? Yes. You have a sugar. <coughs> to stone an old, people, an old woman who sits and knits on Chavez and, and she doesn't know anything. And if she makes two knits, you take her out and stone her. What did she do? What is the logic? If you say the religions are invented by human minds, what human mind invented such a logic? It has to be the greatest mishigas in the world. <laughs> so these people are not only, there's no crazy house that will accept them, because the more mishigas than the coke is in the world. <coughs> I said, right. He said, yes, yeah, there's a problem. These mishigas include the prophets and the tanoim and the rambams and the rashi and the goyim. The Mishuganes, I know Rambam, you know, I know he's a great man. And Rambam writes these laws very exactly, two letters exactly. And where are you bringing? Please explain to me this, he called it the paradox of the missus. Explain it to me. Zaya Nokau, because I learned at university, I couldn't give an answer to this question. How 
the, the only alternative is that this is a godly order. Because the human mind cannot invent such a thing. It's a complete mishigas. When you know there's Torah, and the Torah <coughs> defines what Meloche is, and you can pull the whole, whole room here from this floor to the other on Shabbos because you have a bar mitzvah, and you are sweating, and you didn't know any Meloche. But you write two letters, one each other, this is Meloche. When this is a godly word, and it defines what Meloche is and what Shabbos is. And why there is Shabbos? And what is Vayanach Vayamashvi? Then this is the only alternative to these laws and these people, which include the prophets, which the whole Western civilization is based on the prophets. The whole Western civilization, their laws, <coughs> their governments, that everything in the whole Western culture is based on these 24 books, which is the Bible. To us, it was translated more than 1,000 languages, the Bible. More than 1,000 languages. <coughs> and this is the basis, and this is the creation <coughs> of the prophets of Abi Soil, which got this Nebuah from the Kodesh Bobo. And he said, they are not allowed to write two letters of this was for me, I couldn't answer this question. So, I accepted this truth. I couldn't deny it. I didn't want it. I was, I, it was the toughest minute in my life. I was all against it. I didn't want it. It endangered all my life. I made films, television, entertainment. I was out there and I had plans. I would shock the whole world. The plans I had in making films and whatever I did. And it enjoyed all my life. So I asked him, after two days I called him. I said, Rabbi, I think this is the last time I'm going to call you because I hate you, because you ruined my life. <laughs> and, um, but only one question. Is there a minimum? So what do you mean, sir? He said, is there a minimum? Red light. I don't care to sit in the first light in your I don't care the last, last line, even to heal the heat and on my back. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Only the minimum. Is there such a thing? <coughs> this officer was a very, very clever person. He said, give me five minutes and call me in five minutes. Call me in five minutes. He said, yes, there is a minimum. Five things, you keep them and you are in. Shabbos. <coughs> Tires of Mishpoche, eat kosher, double, is filled, and eat kosher, and bench when you eat. Five things. This is it. You keep showers in your training, of course, and you said, I'm not going to double it. No, no, <coughs> no shoe. <coughs> I'm going to double it at home. What is the minimum in prayer? said, minimum, no cobones, <coughs> no psuke de zimre. Birkus Krishme, Krishme, Trine. Yes, I know what he's talking about. He said, how, how long does it take? He thought very carefully, he said, eight minutes. He said, this is it? Yes, he said. Minche, less, he said, five minutes. No Krishme. My him again, eight minutes. This is it? This is it. Trine, I put Trine. Each kosher, I don't care. I need kosher. To bench, what means bench? Shakun, Yavidvoro, Moisi, okay. Tar Samishpoche. My wife wanted a divorce. She was a very serious person. It, it didn't work. No, nothing went. And we decided we were going to divorce the next morning, after a month, of trying to convince her. Kosher, I had my own little uh, aron, and I put the plastic things, you know, and I ate some tomatoes and this. Because I said, yeah, this I could bear. No, no, I am batas before. And then, on this <coughs> night, that we decided we were going to divorce next morning, I went to sleep, and I wake up, woke up after 20 minutes, and we had a big house, and I stood up there, I went out from the room, and I saw her sitting down, holding a book in her lap. And I knew what the book, and then she looked up with her eyes, and she looked at me, and she said, I will keep Tarsum before her. And this was a nest. 
to America because he saved our family. He has three children then. Now we're much more more Hashem behind her. And the oldest was 10 years old. Now he's old his grandfather, oh Hashem. And you were going to ruin the whole family. And then said, Tarazam Mishpah, only then. And then I looked at the book she held in her in and her, it was Rambam. I bought then two books, Chumish and Rambam. It was the two only holy books that I have in our, our home. And it was there. And she opened this Rambam first time in her life. First time in her life. A Jewish woman living in Eretz Yisrael, talking to Shana Kodesh, <coughs> speaking to Shana Kodesh. <coughs> never saw a Rambam in her before her, her eyes. You have to understand what Anusi we were, how, how we were in what a prison we were. What a prison. And she looked at this Rambam, and I was, I was afraid to ask her, what did you see there that convinced you to change your mind? After a few months, I asked her. <coughs> she said, I looked at page after page. I didn't understand one word, but I saw that this is a serious matter. Listen to this tragic sentence. The first time it penetrated her mind that this is a serious thing. It's not Mishugas. The words of the Rambam, only the words, only the building of his sentences, the seriousness of what, how he talked about it. And then this was the beginning. So then we began. And there was another step. The next step was, I kept Mrs. at home and did not have at home. My, my son wanted, he said, Abba, what is this, what is film? And then I said, my oldest son, 10 years old. And then I said, uh, I explained to him, he said, I, I want to, I want also. Why well, didn't say a word? I put it to only Tarbutel that was in Tel Aviv then. Face Yankin. Here again, Tel Aviv. This child saved our homes. Our home. I say homes in plural because they're saving these child today. We are listening today in Abraham. We have 3,000, 4,000 children every year to Torah schools. They achieve Lev Avot Banim, these children, children. This child became a different child after two weeks. I will never forget. We had a, a huge kitchen looking over the, the, the sea. He was sitting there. I went into the kitchen from his back, and he stood up. And I didn't relate to, my, to myself at all. He never stood up before me. I, I didn't know there's such a thing to honor your father. And then I came back. I, I came back. He stands up. I said, what are you standing up? Me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the matter? He says, Abba, and he comes to Shmodcha. I'm standing up I'm, I, I, in your honor. First time in my life, my wife saw it. I was almost crying. First time in my life, 10 years old. And he came with Chumish. And I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what Chumish is. I have to begin to learn. And this changed the whole attitude. Torah. When I, when, I, when I discovered this and the godly wisdom, I tell you, I know, I know what I'm talking about. The whole worldly culture, the whole worldly spiritual <coughs> achievements, whatever you want, the greatest philosophers, the greatest religious people, uh, everybody, is nothing in comparison to one kotz, shall one yud in our holy Torah. Nothing is, Bechla doesn't, the shtuyot, with all the philosophy, with all the ay, 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 shtuyot. The Torah is a godly creation that we accepted it. And this is the chasen. When we <coughs> are in the morning, <coughs> faithful, I'm not talking about clothes, I'm not talking about, about the most inner part in our souls. When we talk to the boy Oilom, we can talk to the boy Oilom the whole day long. We talk from the most inner part in our in our heart. They go and say, I bought it. Even Masu Abonim, I don't know what's pina. 
the most deepest spot in your hearts where you know this one should. And you can say to one, I'm far away from you. Help me. This is what I said during Jaffa. I said, <laughs> I'm far away. I, I cannot do it. I cannot do it myself. Help me. I want, I cannot. It's a horror and this and, and the habits. And the Kodesh Bo takes you and leads you. Talk to the way you. I tell you, this is the summing up of the whole thing. Kodesh Baruch Hu is Korah Vashem, the whole Korah, the whole Hashem Shikaru Ve'emet. Korah is very close <coughs> to each one who calls him truthfully. What do I mean truthfully? <coughs> to say my name, to say the <coughs> number of my passport, what is truthfully? <coughs> from the bottom of your heart, from the place where the fight is, where I feel the Yetzirah. This is true. From there, talk to, to the Kodesh Baruch Not, what can I do? I say, so, oh, uh, women, girls, drugs. Uh, they, uh, the other way around, Mamish. There's a possible Mishle. Here's a Mishle in Rashi. Mishle. In the bottom. Right, it's on the bottom. <coughs> Listen. To Shloim HaMelech. Toda Rabba. Yuzayin Kavgimel, you can see, look at it. It's easy to remember. Yuzayin is Gimatria Toim. The Kavgimel is what you take, it's quite good. Yuzayin Kavgimel. Shochad Mecheik Rasha Yikach Lehatot Orchot Mishpat. Shochad, bribery, from the bosom, from the lap of a wicked person. He will take. Who is he? Who will take? Lehatot or Chot Mishpat? To maneuver the truth. Pashtus, all that is showing him. Radak Ababen, everybody knows that this is a wicked shoifet, a wicked judge that says bribery, and he changes from truth to a, he says the lie is true. Rashi Akonish. Shochad mechek rashai kach. HaKodesh Bohu mekabel accepts divrei hachna'a words of surrender. Divrei hachna'a upius love mercy, pius mechek rashaim from the bosom, from the lap of rashaim Kelomar, when Rashi says Kelomar, means something is kosher. Why cheik reshaim? Now <coughs> not the mouth of reshaim, the hand of reshaim, shochat, you give with your hand, you say shochat. What is the cheik lap? Kelomar, baseiter beino lebenam. Baseiter. Uh, in the hidden within. Hidden within. Hid, hi. Hidden within. You, you hid it. But say that only the boy knows and only I know. Nobody knows. Not in speeches like this speech and not <coughs> outside. And not. They know the Vietnam. Intimately, personally, the Kodesh Bohu creates us every minute. Gives us life every minute. The heart beats. Put your put your fingers on your on, on your the veins here. You feel the the, the the how do you say the beat? Where does it come from? From the heart. The heart pulls the blood and all the body moves the body in all in a small very small uh, pump pump pump. It's a pump. It pulls and pulls. So when it pulls the blood, a small door is closed. <coughs> so when it pushes it, it won't go back. So close. So this beat is this this heart, this door on in your heart. How much blood does it move in every day, every 24 hours? Seven thousand two hundred liters of blood, which is thirty thousand glasses. Thirty three oh, 
thousand glasses every day. You ever saw a machine working without energy, without electricity, <coughs> gas? Who activates this machine <laughs> for 120 <coughs> years? From the minute the baby is in, in, in the bosom, in, in, in the womb of his mother, he begins to work. Until 120. Who gives you life? Ask everyone. So this life is given to us by the Rebbe and he cares about us so much. We are healthy, Baruch Hashem. We see, we have consciousness. We understand what we see. A cat sees a this and this. This is a table, this is the floor. We have the concepts, the mind, to give definitions, <coughs> conceptual definitions, <coughs> to the reality that we see. Tzelem every minute. So he cares about us very, very, very much. So talk to him. Not only you, which are your tzaddikim, but shochad mechei kirashai kach. For somebody who's defined by the Torah as a roshe. Roshe. And it says to the Kodibor, Abba, help me. I cannot do it by yourself. Please. I want. I have mind. I have a mind. I have brain. I know I understand. But from here down, Yetzirah. I cannot fight this Yetzirah. The mind is too weak. Help me. Talk to him. The Kodesh Bohu changes the whole, all his conduct to the best, to the good. When you talk, when you talk to him intimately with your, with, between your inner part <coughs> and your heart and the body of heaven. This is the whole thing. We know the truth. We have the Yeshua we have to fight against it. We cannot do it by ourselves. We have to ask Korah Hashem. So it's very close. The whole Korah, each one who talks to him. Why Widen your mouth. Ask, ask. I will fulfill all your wishes. If you ask for cocaine or heroin, the Lord won't give you this because you won't give it to your, your children also. When your child ask you, ah, just, you know, a bit of cocaine. I have to sniff once, you know. <laughs> but if the child will come and says, Abba, I, I want to learn, I don't understand this possible. Ah! What, what happiness is the father who is this sentence from his son? He wanted, please come, my son, let's learn it together. <laughs> because the Shabbat is our father. There's no one lovable father in the whole world which loves us more than the Kodesh Bohu. He created us and he gives us life every minute. He wants us, each one of us, in his individuality. Each one with his own DNA. Each one with his uniqueness. Your shahakun yavid vohot cannot be mine. And my shahakun cannot be yours. Each one is shahakun, a different shahakun yavid vohot. A different prayer. A different understanding. And the Kodesh who wants each of us with our most individual individuality. The most individual. <coughs> Myself, and I am his only son in my individuality. No other Uri, no other Moish, no other Yana. In the whole world. So, the Lord looks at us as a single son and waits for us that we should talk to him and ask him. No greatest joy for the Kodesh Bo, when we look him and we ask him, what will you ask? Help me in this fight. Help me in this fight. And then, Kodesh Bohu takes this bribe, Shochan. What is Shochan? We are talking about the Roshe, who stole, who, I don't know, murdered. I don't know what he did. Chari Shabbos, Hashem I don't know what. And this Roshe is defined by Shlomo Merba, the Torah Akdoi Shoh, as a Roshe. Shochan Mecheik Rasha, he He's a Roshe. According to every Knevida and Mishpat, any judge. And he kept accept this shohar this way, and he changes the whole the, from bad to good, from zadi bad to good one. So <laughs> it was a bit a long story, but this is the story of my life, and I think that uh, in the in the general uh, concepts of my story, it's a story of each one, 
it was his own Yitzhak, it was his own problems, but uh, the principle is there. We have to talk to the Lord, to ask him from the inner power point in our, in our hearts. We want that our brain will win our body. We want it. The body doesn't want it. I want, please help me. You know, I give you how merciful the Kodibov is. I said, Go help me. So I said, Yeah, what? I want to give me power to put film everything, to put <coughs> Shabbos, to, to eat kosher. And then I said, What do you mean power? I want power from the Kodibov to him, but I will, be mis I will be miserable. I'll have the power, I fight against myself, but my wife will be miserable. I want to eat, to eat this. Chazer, and I cannot. I fight against myself, but I want. I want this Avere. I will fight against myself. I have the power to win, but I will be miserable. I said, because Bochum, not only give me the power to fight, please also listen to a chutzpah of a Jew. I said, please, also, I want the pleasure that I had in the Averes that I did in Tel Aviv to have the same pleasure by learning Torah. You hear? I want to be Chaza with Hersha of the Badats. <coughs> I want the same pleasure of the Averes to have in the mitzvahs. Because I want, I, I like pleasure. I, I, I'm very, I like to laugh. I like to have uh, Simche. I don't like to be miserable and to fight. I want, I want to live a good life. So the pleasure I had in that way is, <coughs> give me the mitzvahs. Well, you know, the country was not being given this. He gave so much more. So you can ask anything. Ask. If it's true, if it's from the inner part of the heart, to the excerpts. Shochem. This could be mitzvahs. To the